Jürgen, commi commiserations. Can you put your finger on what went wrong tonight? I have only ten fingers. Um, that is, the start was pretty intense. That was clear. So again, Reds wanted to strike back what they did. Brought a few new players, very important players for them, obviously. And then, um, but we had the first big chance. I think it was Daniel with a very big one. And each goal in a game like this um, leads or leads the game in a specific direction. We gave them already too many set pieces before they scored, so they could kind of train it in a, in a, in a proper match. And then, then uh, they scored with the header after this, after the corner. The second goal was kind of out of the blue. We have the ball, give it away, and then of course. That's not that's not cool in a game like this, um, in an atmosphere like this, in a situation like this. If you have then to play your best football in a kind of a negative mood, because we were, um, it was a it was a blow, of course. Try to change for second half. So we had moments in the box. We had crappy situations with the ball. They, they twice, I'm not sure, on the line. They cleared the situation. If, if you score in a situation like that, everything can change. But it's hypothetical because we didn't score. The second half, it changed a bit. But very dominant, didn't give a lot of counter attacks away or something like that. But the, we had moments, we had kind of nearly chances. But I think the biggest chances were in the last two, three minutes before that. Not enough. But again, if. Big if if you score early in the second half, then game can change. But it didn't. So we have to admit, congratulations, Red Star, well deserved. They have the three points, we have nothing. Talk before the match about the atmosphere in the stadium. How much do you think your players were affected by it? Don't know. It was good. It was a it was a good football atmosphere. I don't think it was like you it would have been possible impossible to, to perform, to be honest. It was not um, but you had to be afraid or whatever. It was a football atmosphere. We, was, but whatever they were saying, we, we, we don't understand. That, so it was only loud. Um, but I, I don't know exactly. But of course, it that was not, not the atmosphere, singing-wise, noise-wise, whatever, was not a problem. But the atmosphere after the second goal, especially that was in the whole club, if you want. That was now they they could smell it. We walked in the half time the long way to the dressing room, and they were all in a very positive mood. And we were actually in the other the other way around, but they didn't get up give up fighting. They they stayed concentrated. They gave everything. They had cramps. I think three, four, five players had cramps. And for us, it was not it was not clicking. It was not easy. We, we we never came really back in these situations. We had the moments. We we, we played good balls in in the right moment, but then we. The, the last, again, it was similar to the first half, different situations, not after set piece, but that we had really these, we had the ball in the box and then we cannot really finish. They they come with a lag in between. I saw, unfortunately, a few games like this already and it's really difficult then to, yeah, to find um, your mojo back if you want. It's really only that you can really do the right thing in the right moment, like, very natural because you always try to 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 solve the problem actually what you what you have on a pitch and you don't find solutions you solve problems on a pitch and that's a completely different different situation. Um, did Red Star surprise you with the tactic and uh, with their game? Uh, were you expecting something like this? Maybe not uh, the result, but the the way they played. Which, uh, with the tactics and which why why surprise with the tactics? Well, did the uh, did, did I know the what Red tactics Star is? What tactically. was the surprising part of it? Um, yes, you're um, regarding the tactics that you played almost seem lost on the, on the field because of Red Stars. Tactic. <laughs> <laughs> Is he angry? Because he sounds know. angry. He shouldn't be. He sounds angry, to be honest. 
So, um, look, we are not surprised, um, but um, the, 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 the way how it goes in the first part, if you saw the first game, it was similar, it was kind of wild, direct, stuff like that, um, and then in, in, at, at, at Liverpool we'd, we, we controlled the game then, tonight we didn't, because we, um, yeah, they were aggressive, they were very aggressive in, in, all, in all the part, but they were aggressive in the last game as well, we only did better. That's how it is. We made, we made life a bit too easy tonight for Belgrade. That's, uh, that's uh, the main problem. And they, how I said, they deserved it with the passion they fought and whatever um, decide at the end, you have to score goals in a game. If you think about how often we were in the, in the box and around, um, that's actually what you have to do in a football game. You only have to make the last decision in the right way and we didn't. That's why we lost 2-0. That's all. Danas Tomenković here. Uh, what do you say about the game of Milan Pavkov? Yes. <laughs> what do you say about the game of Milan Pavkov and uh, did you expect that? That he scores twice now. <laughs> but um, we know um, he changed the game at, at Salzburg already yeah, when he came on. So um, it was impressive that day. Um, and tonight when we, when we saw that he will play, it, for us it was clear that it will be in a specific way different because he is a proper target player. For Red Star, they can play the ball to him. He, 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 he played a fantastic game. I think the second goal, he was a bit surprised by himself that it's in, but he hit the ball really good in that moment. Um, and so, how's that? He, he fought, they all fought really hard. That's why I say well deserved. So it's not that they, they were not as lucky as they should be if they win against us. Um, that's the, that's our, our fault. Jürgen, uh, following on from the defeat away at Napoli, do you think it's a, it's a problem playing away that the team has developed? Because <laughs> it was, it wasn't, that wasn't a good performance either in Napoli. And can you talk a little bit more about what you meant about you've, you've lost the mojo? In the game, not, not in general. We lost it in the game, so that's it. We had to, because of that, I think it made sense to make a few changes, so a few we had to make um, and, uh, and a few we wanted to. Um, at the end, it's an easy to say that that just didn't that didn't work out in the game. We lost it because every one up, two nil up. That that's it then, and not in general. I don't say it's already a series if you lose twice or two times. Um, so that's. But of course, we have to we have to make sure that that will not happen again. So otherwise, it will be difficult because the next game is already an away game again. Um, and the last one is a very difficult um, home game against Napoli. So we have to make sure that you, you cannot ask that question again. I understand it 100% in a moment, but um, it's a bit too early to say that's how it is. Um, but um, how I said, we have to make sure in Paris that it um, that we do better. That that's how it is. There was we had um, there were a lot of moments when we when we we could get in control of the game. But then we didn't do it. So then we, we made the wrong decision. I don't think it's anything to do with the way of home. It's just, it just happened. And um, yeah, that's, we will, we, will, we will talk about that and we will do that better 100%, but for tonight we can't change it anymore, unfortunately. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Much appreciated. Goodbye. Cheers, go on. thank you.